like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul yearns for you, my Lord. Psalm 42, verse 1. Beloved in Christ, your soul is longing for the Lord. My soul is longing for the Lord. Our souls are yearning for the word of God. Our souls need refreshment from the word of God. And that is also often said to us in Isaiah chapter 55, verses 10 to 11. That for as the rain and the snow comes down from the skies and do not return before having watered the earth. Join me and other priests of the Archdiocese of Tamale from the 1st of June 2019 to listen and watch the living streams of water on our YouTube channel, Depsicon TV Tamale and Facebook channel, Department of Pastoral and Social Communication, Depsicon Tamale. Each day, 12 noon, listen, may God restore, renew, and strengthen your faith in the Catholic Church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O Queen of Heaven, rejoice, Alleluia. O whom he did marry to bear, Alleluia. Has risen as he said, Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord has risen indeed, Alleluia. Let us pray. God our Father, you give joy to the world by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, through the prayers of his mother, Virgin Mary, bring us to the happiness of eternal life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Teresa, pray for us. All you saints and angels of God, pray for us. My dear people of God, I welcome you to the living stream of water. Today I will be sharing the word of God with you taken from the gospel of today. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, Therefore, the world has you. Remember the word that I said to you. A servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. But all this they will do to you on my account because they do not know him who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord.
dear friends in Christ when the scripture says the world or when the Bible talks about the world there are two things first the whole world of creation secondly the world of secular that is the secular world world that is the world of secular life and today in the gospel Jesus is talking about the world of secular the secular world that is what Jesus is talking about in the gospel today Jesus is saying that the world will hate you because the world hated him before the world persecuted him before and now we are all in this circular world the world in which others are living in a way that they do not know God and others are living their way because he has chosen them and therefore it is clear that when Jesus Christ said the world will hate you if you look at the beginning when he was born Herod wanted to kill him and they took him away from Bethlehem to Egypt and say then when he grew up during his ministry he faced challenges he went through persecution through the Jewish leaders the Jewish leaders hated him simply because the life he was living was contrary to the life they were living and therefore they hated him persecuted him and at the end he was crucified they killed him at the end and therefore Jesus was warning his disciples as they did it to me bear in mind that they are also going to do it to you because I have chosen you and as I have chosen you the life you are going to live is going to be according to the life I lived and therefore people will pursue you people will crucify you people will torture you so he was warning his disciples to know this before it happens and therefore indeed the apostles the disciples they were tortured many of them were persecuted example like Saint Stephen Saint Matthias they were martyred they were crucified and this is what Jesus was warning them my dear brothers and sisters in Christ today as we are also living in this secular world as you are living in this secular world we are also going to be persecuted on account of the word of God those who have accepted to follow Christ those who have accepted to be his disciples they will hate you some are there who are living in a world of secular life they do not know God they think everything that is that they have is coming from them because they do not recognize God as the source of life as the one who is giving them everything and therefore they would like to persecute all those who are ready who are ready to follow Christ who are the disciple of Christ they will persecute them because they will see that their life they are living is contrary to the life they are living and therefore they will like to persecute they will follow you and torture you and that is why Jesus is warning us today be on your guard all those who are ready to follow me all those who are ready to accept and proclaim the word of God you will be tortured in fact in a church there are many places that you go people will talk about you people will say look at him he think 
He's good. He think he's fired. They will point fingers at you simply because the life you are living will not be the life they are living. And therefore they will talk ill about you. And this, you should know this and arm yourself. So that when it happens, you shouldn't run away. You shouldn't move away from the word of God. In fact, as we live in this world, certain times some people who are actually living the life which really contrived to God, who talk ill about the church, who come to convince you that what the church is doing is not right. So stop it. Come and join us. Come and move with us. It means they really don't know God. And they want to deceive you to move out from the church and join them so that you will be like them. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Jesus is warning us today that the servant is not greater than the master. So if they persecute him, know that they are also going to persecute you because they cannot do things more than what they have done to him or they cannot uh, underestimate it definitely what they have done to him they are also going to do to you because he has chosen you and now he has chosen you you will be living the life according to the way he lived and that is why they will hate you so my dear brothers and sisters in Christ let us in this way take the way that Jesus has already warned us that Jesus has already prepared us that we should arm ourselves so that when these things happen to us we will not be shaken but we should carry on we should persevere and do the work of God and do what is expected of us and at the end you will receive life in full don't worry about what they are going to do to you on earth but you will worry about what you do in order to achieve eternal life may the almighty God give us the grace may the almighty God guide us may the almighty God give us the spirit so that when we are facing, facing these challenges we will be able to resist we will be able to go through this torturing and so go by the way he has spared of us. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul yearns for you by Lord. Psalm 42, verse 1. Beloved in Christ, your soul is longing for the Lord. My soul is longing for the Lord. Our souls are yearning for the word of God. Our souls need refreshment from the word of God. And that is also often said to us in Isaiah chapter 55 verses 10 to 11. That for as the rain and the snow comes down, from the skies and do not return before having watered the earth. Join me and other priests of the Archdiocese of Tamale from the 1st of June 2019 to listen and watch the living streams of water on our YouTube channel Depsocon TV Tamale and Facebook channel Department of Pastoral and Social Communication, Depsocon Taman. Each day, 12 noon, listen, may God restore, renew, and strengthen your faith in the Catholic Church. Let your come, 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 come